up everybody welcome back to the channel i have been waiting to start on these things since i got them since i cut them and dopped them up if you do not know what i'm talking about i'm gonna have a link to that video right up here but if you didn't read the title if you somehow made it into the video and you're like two minutes in this stuff right here is fossilized dinosaur bone that is right fossilized dinosaur bone and then it's got some pockets of that white in there is portions of the membrane that agatized so as you can see we have got a few pieces that we are going to be working on and i haven't even shown you the one that i think is going to be the prettiest i'm saving that one for the end and here it is this one right here Ooh. I cannot wait to see how this one comes out, but let's quit with the jibber jabber. Let's just get right to it. So I will see you at the flat lap in just a sec. All right, here we are. We've got the flat lap out. It is a little, it's a little dusty. I've been doing a lot of, been doing a lot of polishing. Don't judge me. <laughs> but here we are. We're going to be starting off on the 80 grit and we're going to move on to the 180 grit, those are the two metal pads that you will see me working with. And then after that, we are gonna get into the smoothing pads. There are four of those that we're gonna be working through. And then we will be as done with these as we can be for now, but I will be getting another finishing pad soon with some polishing paste. So I'm probably gonna end up doing a video once I do get that smoothing pad of just taking every single piece that I have that I finished up to the 3000 grit and using that polishing paste, or sorry, that finishing paste on it and polishing them all up. So that video is gonna be kind of crazy. So hopefully that'll be coming in, in the next couple of weeks or so. But we are gonna hop right into polishing these up and we're gonna do it like I've been doing. We're just gonna do a time-lapse uh, recording of all the polishing. So instead of just cutting and pasting and only seeing a few clips of everything getting polished up, we're gonna see everything get polished up except really, 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 really fast. <laughs> but um, we're gonna work through the first two metal pads and then we're gonna take a break. I will check back in with you. We will look at these things before we move on to the smoothing pads and then we'll get right back into it. So without further ado, let us finally start polishing up the Stino Bone. wanted to be super careful with these and so far they are coming along pretty dang good I must say <laughs> so we haven't really gotten to any of the shiny aspect of it I mean it it's we're only at the 180 grit and it's already got you know some shine to it so this first smoothing pad the 325 is gonna be the last stage where we really are gonna focus on making sure our shape is nice and good and even, no grooves or anything like that. And then after that is just hitting every single inch of it that we can on the smoothing pad to make sure it's all taking a real nice polish. But these things are going to be so amazing. I'm so excited. I just wanna let everybody know that I will be parting with some of these. Some of these will be for sale at some point. Um, I'm gonna need some time to look at them all once I finish them and decide which ones are gonna stay with me. I do plan to get some more dinosaur bone for future projects and future videos. So if you wanna see me get some more dinosaur bone, drop a comment down below and let me know. 
and I will make it happen. Because I, I love this stuff. I mean, it's it's really dirty, <laughs> really, really messy, but it's it's totally worth it. Totally, totally worth it. Oh, that one's a little wonky. But I didn't wanna I didn't wanna do too much more to it. It's a small piece, so that's okay. We'll just call that a free form. <laughs> Alright, we are gonna get started on the first smoothing pad right now. We are just gonna take a quick little break from polishing these things and I've as you can see I've only done the 325 grit disc and look we still have a couple spots to touch up but look at, look at the shine on this stuff already oh these are gonna be so beautiful in the end so so beautiful Wow, wow, wow. All right, so we're, we're getting a little bit of a sneak peek. Let me know down in the comment section below which one you think is gonna be the, the nicest of them all. This stuff is crazy. Once again, I'm gonna have the link down in the description, just like when we were cutting this stuff up to my friend Dave. He runs Bonnie and Clyde Gemstones over on TikTok. He has some crazy material. So if you want, be sure to go and check him out. I believe he's also got an eBay store as well. So I'm gonna see about getting a, a link to his, his store as well down in the description. But these things are nuts. So we are gonna move on to uh, what's next? 600 grit. We're gonna move on to the 600 grit, 12, and then the 3000, and we're just gonna keep buzzing on through those on the time lapse. So the next time I will be checking in with you guys is once these things are all finished up. I have a couple little things I'm gonna touch up on them um, off camera, but other than that, we're getting getting pretty close to finishing these things up. So stay tuned.
there we have it guys we are all finished with the polishing that we're going to get done today on the flat lap maybe another day i'll revisit when i get a buffing wheel and can do a nice mirror finish on these guys now they are a little moist but that's because it just came out of the freezer so we're just gonna pop these guys off yeah, Dry it off first. Cloth here. Got a paper towel on. It's gonna leave a bunch of little spices. But here we are. That's one. And two. here we are we've got them all dried off we've got them set up here got some extra lights in the studio right now so hopefully we can see some really beautiful details in these things zoom in right now and here we are The details in these pieces are outstanding. There's the round piece. Got this little funky guy here. I just wanted to keep some nice, nice straight edges on it, you know. absolutely beautiful with all that cell structure in there <clears throat> so we've already seen those two Hoping, I'm really hoping that in the morning I'll be able to get some sunlight photos or at some point tomorrow. I'm finishing up the filming of this um, last night. So I'm not sure what the forecast is for tomorrow, but I know we're supposed to have some winter weather coming in. So hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to get some sunlight photos because that's going to be really the only way to do these things justice. crazy beautiful if you guys are enjoying this video be sure to drop a like down below let me know and if this is something you guys want to see me do again make some different shapes or just work with dino bone in general please let me know and i will definitely get some more because i had a lot of fun a lot of fun working with this stuff it was so beautiful just straight off the rip as soon as we hit that first smoothing pad it was there was a shine to them and it was crazy. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And 406 findings, my man Travis, he said it, he said it right because he worked on some of the same material and uh, he was not kidding when he said it turns your water into tomato soup. I had some very tomato soup like water <laughs> after I was getting after getting these things on the flat lap, that's for sure. Man, is it messy. 
All right, and last but not least, the piece that I was the most excited for. So excited and so anxious that I kind of kept just a basic rounded edge to it. But look at the jersey in that. That is ridiculous. <clears throat> well, there we have it. My first time working with Dinosaur Bone and I'm in love. If you guys would like to see me make some cabochons out of some copper light, let me know down in the comment section below because I do have a chunk of copper light sitting around that uh, maybe maybe we'll, we'll play with some poo someday. <laughs> but until then guys, this coming Monday is going to be the next installment of our mini series of going through and polishing up those different groups of cabochons. The winner this time by popular demand is the Kentucky Jasper. So Kentucky Jasper is gonna be first. Um, that was group number four, followed by um, one week from this coming Monday, we will have the Petrified Cedar be the second group, which will then leave us with two more. So in that Petrified Cedar video, we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll choose between the last two again. So if you're excited to see that Kentucky Jasper get polished up, or excited to see any other content coming from my channel, be sure to smash that subscribe button, click that bell notification, and set it to all so you're up to date on all of my content coming out on my channel here. But until then, guys, be sure to drop those likes. Leave those comments down in the comment section below, not just the folks hanging out right over here in the, li in the live chat, but thank you guys. And hopefully, hopefully, we are about to see some sunlight photos. If not, we will see some indoor photos that will still be pretty but not quite as pretty as these things would be out in the sun but thanks guys for watching enjoy these photos